Long before the brush dries up, the Las Virgenes Municipal Water District spends months planning on how to conserve and source their water supply. Ricky Clark, a public affairs associate with the district, says it's a challenging hurdle, especially when the state limited their water supply. That water supply is restricted and limited as a result of these dry um, conditions, uh, lack of precipitation, increased heat. Ricky says these shade balls reduce evaporation in this recycled water reservoir, but it won't be enough. State officials believe extreme weather will reduce 10% of the state's water supply by 2040. If these conditions persist and we have to keep these watering restrictions and that recycled water is being used at full capacity year round, this reservoir will stay dry. And again, this is recycled water here that we use for irrigation. This isn't drinking water, but it just speaks to the lack of supply. On Thursday, Governor Gavin Newsom announced that the state has invested more than $8 billion to store, recycle, desalt, and conserve water. Stephen Greenhut with the R Street Institute says it was about time for the state to bring in more infrastructure. He says the last funding for water infrastructure dates back to the 70s. It, it is uh, good news that uh, the governor has specifically called out desalination. Uh, it's an expensive form of water, but it's, uh, the prices are coming down relative to, to imported water, and it's better to have expensive water than no water at all. Daniel McCurry, an assistant professor of environmental engineering at USC, says we still have time to change course. On the, let's say, five, ten year horizon, it could be pretty dire. I mean, so in a short term sense, the taps aren't going to quit running tomorrow. At the district, Ricky says state funding will help treat recycled water here and eventually turn it into another source of drinking water by 2028. How long are we going to have to go before Mother Nature, you know, kind of replenishes our snowpacks and our groundwater and our lakes and our rivers? That is a worry that's not necessarily in our control. But what is in our control is making sure that we continue to plan for the future. A plan to avert a water crisis in hopes of replenishing every last drop.